Welcome to the image editor. Here you can personalize any of your sales or marketing images. The image ed editor has three distinct areas. On the left hand side, we have the personalization elements, which can be dragged onto the image canvas. On the right hand side, we have the various controls for the image canvas. First off, we have the canvas settings, which allows us to change the size of the image that we're creating, as well as either a background color or choosing a background image. From choosing a background image, we're able to see our image library. Here we can either upload our own image that we already have or choose from one of the many stock options. In this case, let's choose an office image. When we choose an image to add to our canvas, we're given the option to adjust the canvas automatically to the, the image we're adding. So in this case, that makes sense. Once we have our base image canvas, we can then start to add our personalization layers. So in this case, let's add some text to the image. I'm going to choose, once I click the option here, I get the option of the merge tags. I'm going to choose the business name, which will then personalize to each business name prospect. We can then move that into place as well as rotate and choose settings for that layer. In this case, we'll be able to choose a different font to make it look more handwriting and maybe increase the size. We could also choose to center it as well as skew and choose defaults. Now let's add another layer to our canvas. In this time, let's add another image and I'm going to choose a laptop, which I'm going to make a little bit more prominent on the desk, move it around, and now add another personalization layer of a website screenshot. And here again, we can resize the element. So now we have an image that will personalize with the business name, but also the screenshot of the website. We could go further, for example, add another image say in this case of a mug and on that mug we'll place the logo of the prospect change that to make it round make it a little bit smaller so it'll fit on the mug and maybe a little bit smaller too and there we have it when we're dealing with images like that it can be quite um, detailed we can increase the zoom so we get a better idea of the image and now we're at 150 zoom so we can see that if we do make a mistake we can also use the undo controls to change that so going back to the layer side now we've added a couple of different layers to our image we're able to change the order of those layers if we needed to as well as changing whether we keep them visible or not which gives us a simple layer controls we can also expand each of these layers as we did before by choosing the settings button be able to see the various different settings of each of the layers that we've added. Once we're happy with our image, we can choose to save that, our progress. Uh, at this point, we have the option to keep our image in draft mode, which means that uh, image impressions won't count, but also personalizations won't be carried out, or we can choose to make it public. At that point, we could choose to preview the image and be able to see how that looks uh, as a, from a live perspective. The final element to take note of here on this right hand side tab is integrations. Here we have the option of choosing the different platforms or marketing platforms we're going to use our image with. For example, I might want to use it with my CRM, um, which would be HubSpot in this case. I can choose to add that. And now choosing, selecting the HubSpot integration, we can see that it's selected here and the image link is now specific for HubSpot. I can simply copy that link, paste that directly into a HubSpot template. Um, we can have as many, as many integrations uh, within each image as you want. So for example, if I want to use the same image within a many chat conversation, as well as email link from HubSpot, I can just add those two integrations to the image. Also to take note on the top bot bar here, as well as our save and preview and public controls we also have the option to change the name of the image like that and then finally we have our launch control which will deep link us into the hyper campaign to get further options to use our image with this image and our integration already selected